hi guys welcome to today's video in this video we are going to be creating this scroll bar effect that you see right here um and this is a typical example of where you might need to use a scroll bar effect in your prototyping in your web design this is a really easy stuff to create um so let's get started please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you find any of my videos helpful so for this video i'm going to be making use of this free ui kit dashboard that i got from the figma community you can also go and um, use the same file i'm going to be using this particular page um in this free ui dashboard kit i'm going to open up a new design file and then paste that particular page um on my design board so that we can just have a boilerplate to create the prototype that we need um so i'm just going to adjust the screen a little bit and i'm going to take out this first section because i just want to focus on this to-do list here that has this navigation bar so the first thing i want to do is to make this navigation side um, a little bit more obvious just like the way you see in the video um so i'm going to click on that particular bar you can see the components of that particular to do sidebar um and as you can see i'm trying to target this particular scroll bar but we can't edit it because it's a component so i'm going to go ahead to detach all the components in this section um so that i won't um have issues when i try to make edits on them so after I've completely detached all its components in this section here, um, I can now go back to our scroll bar, um, target it, and I'm going to increase its width a little bit. I'm doing this just to make it more obvious. Then I'm going to increase the, um, the thickness of the gray color um, so that it's very obvious. Um, the next thing I would want to do from here is to just select the entire section where we'll be needing for this um, effect or this animation so if you select here you're going to see we're going to target just this middle part here where we have the scroll the list of cards and the scroll menu so as you can see um, i'm just going to close up the whole dashboard so we can just make use of this single section here where we have um, the scroll bar and the main section so i'm just going to rename this other part to main section so that we can easily dis distinguish between um, both sections um, as you can see this section has um, just a list of cards and that's what we are going to be working with um so the first thing i'm going to do here is to select this scroll bar as you can see it's um, an auto layout element and i'm going to make it click on this absolute position right here to make it absolutely positioned then i'm going to move it all the way to the top right so as you can see this main section here has a list of cards if i uncheck this clip content we are going to see um, the list of cards i'm just going to do that so you can see that the list of cards overflow i'm just going to close it back what i want to do now is to left click and click on frame selection so i'm going to fit that whole section the whole main section in a frame i'm then going to select that main section and then uncheck the clip content on it because i want the main section to be a full section um, that shows the entire card i'm also going to rename it to card list so that we don't get confused so this section is the list of cards then the main frame where we have the section in i'm going to call it main section now i'm going to select this um, card list um, and i want the frame to extend to the entire um, section so now we have a full section of a list of cards it's um it's an auto layout frame as we can see then it's contained in a main section so now we have our list of cards in a main section um alongside our scroll bar on the right so that's the typical anatomy of this section here 
what I'm going to do next is to create a duplicate and on this duplicate, I'm going to move the scroll bar from the top of the screen down to the bottom. And I'm going to be using the arrow key to just move it all the way down. Just like this. And I think this is okay. And for this other section, I would like the list of cards to move all the way up which is going to imply um, that we've completely scrolled to the bottom of the cards list. So I'm just going to be using the figures from this Y axis here because I don't want to tamper with the X axis while trying to manually move it all the way up. So I'm going to just edit the figures of this Y axis. Then when there is a little left, I'm just going to use the arrow key to move it all the way to the top just like you see here. So now we have these two sections, um, one that shows you completely scroll to the top and one that shows you completely scroll to the bottom. Then I'm going to clip the contents of the main section frame on both of these. Now, I'm going to select the entire frame, the both of them, and I'm going to head over to the component section and create component set. Now we have a component set of two variants um, and we are going to start our prototyping. I'm going to select this scroll bar of the first section. I'm going to target the scroll bar and I'm going to switch to the prototype mode. Then I'm going to connect the wires. I'm going to connect it to the second variant, but for this I want it to be an on drag effect and I want it to be a smart animation. I'm then going to return the favor by doing the same thing for the second variant. I'm going to target the scroll bar of the second variant and I'm going to prototype it all the way to the first one and I'm going to make it an on-drag effect and I'm going to leave it at smart animate. Now we have our prototype all complete. I'm now going to create an instance of our component and I'm going to hit Ctrl or Command X to cut it then I'm going to go to the section where we need to use it um, and I'm going to right click then click on paste to replace. Um, once you've done this, you can now click on your entire um, dashboard and click on prototype to view what we've just um, done. and this is it guys you can see if you click on your scroll bar and then scroll all the way to the top you can see that it's gradually animating to the bottom of the card list and you can do the same thing to um to the top and so forth so this is it guys thanks for watching i hope this video was helpful and i hope you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like turn on the notification bell subscribe um, to get more videos like this and I am going to see you in my next video. Bye